drones are taking off in the US and some of them are just back from Afghanistan. We got Jennifer Valentino de Vries to tell us all about this. It's all very exciting. Thank you very much for being here. Thank um, you for having dr me. Dr drones. We're talking about flying gadgets. Yeah, unmanned planes. Unmanned planes. Um, and they range in size uh, from you know very small to the kind of drones that you think about when you think about wars in Iraq and mm -hmm. Afghanistan. Um, and you know, over the past few years, uh, entities have been able to apply for uh, permits to fly drones in certain areas. There are restrictions on flying them anywhere because obviously commercial air traffic uh, could present a problem. This could be a dangerous situation, but um, an advocacy group called the Electronic Frontier Foundation used a Freedom of Information Act request and asked the FAA how many of these permits were out there, who had requested them, and the really interesting thing was that a lot of the places requesting these were colleges and universities and local police departments, not just you know the FBI and Homeland Security and so forth. So Ogden, So Utah. what are they using them for? So, you know, some of the people we spoke with, the universities, they're using them for research um, for the most part, um, both into aeronautics as well as, you know, you can use these drones to fly around um, agricultural areas and kind of survey plant life and, and things like that. Um, local police departments are using them for surveillance and security and, uh, you know, drug enforcement. Uh, things of that nature. Some of the places uh, have not been able to actually implement use of these drones. They're sort of testing them in fields, but they still have them. It seems, you know, that there, seems like a fun thing. Issues, but or? Was it hard to fly? Is that part of the <laughs> issue? I mean, these things are... I think the, the primary issue is that uh, you don't necessarily want to fly these over a, high, a populated area hmm. um, because there's, they're unmanned, so even if you can control them remotely, that presents some dangers. Um, it's really interesting because the FAA right now uh, is under pressure from the government and businesses to integrate drones uh, into air traffic around the U.S. So they're actually going to be testing in six different cities, um, integrating unmanned planes with the regular airspace. So. How, how big are these drones? If I'm walking down the street, am I going to see one flying around? Is this? You might. I think a lot of them, you know, are, they can be this size, they yeah. can be full size uh, planes, but some of them are really tiny. Um, so, you know, I think it, it's, it'll be interesting to see how this progresses. It raises some privacy concerns because a lot of these uh, can have photographic or surveillance equipment on them. And so that's, um, there are a couple of representatives asking questions about that. Now, now the ones that are coming back from Afghanistan, right. um, they had, some, some of them had sort of ability to launch missiles off, off them. Presumably that you would will not be that. part, that will be removed. Yeah. So yeah, we're we not going to have <laughs> missiles flying over. I'm not going to be like walking right. down the street and no. missiles flying. Okay, that's no. good. I'm happy now. They're used for um, <laughs> surveillance, but also things like firefighting they can be used for. So there are applications that don't require them to have weaponry on them. Um, that, that will be that will be very that's useful. Not, yeah, nobody's actually raising mm. a concern about weaponry on these drones. I think it's mostly just safety and surveillance are the two now, big concerns. I, I would think that actually crop surveillance would be very good, going yes. and having a look for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, going and having a look at and all of those uh, That's all one of the crop. things the U.S. Department of Agriculture has drones, um, and that's one of the things that some of these schools are using them for if, they're, if they have a agriculture um, or a forestry type department. Now, now these things fl uh, fly quite low from what I understand right. um, because of the, 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 the way that they're controlled. They're not actually going to crash into helicopters or, or planes, are they? Well, I, th I think there's a concern about that because obviously helicopters and planes at some point, you know, have to land. So at some point, uh, there could be concerns about them flying in the same airspace. You know, in New York City, you see helicopters flying around pretty low, um, at least around the river. You do. I do. I go running on the west yeah. side, and there's a place where the helicopters. Um, yeah. Okay. So you don't fly want them there. there. Well, yeah. you I, mean, don't I was just going to say, when you look out of the area. window and you're halfway up <laughs> a skyscraper, it might seem low, but you're okay, 40 well, floors up. So I mean, enough. that's not quite the that low. The drones can fly pretty high as well. I mean, they're legitimate. These are planes. I mean, they can fly 
But yeah, there's also things high. that are really like toys as well. Yeah. You see, you see kids. I mean, that technically is a drone. It's like a little helicopter. You're <laughs> flying it up, and you have got the things. Right. I've seen. I've seen. I don't want right. to. I don't want to name names, but I've seen people flying them around the office. <laughs> right. Um, but you know. But those aren't the things that you need permits for. The, um, that's not what the FAA is dealing with. Those are just remote control. You're looking at the drone, and these are more unmanned from a distance and. Um, things that might be of, of more concern and it's to okay this isn't is your child's toy <laughs> this is not about. your child not your child's toy that's a great way to end this thank you very much <laughs> Dan Valentino DeVries